Napaikuna. Greetings. Imainaliam. Alingliam. Aliliancho Masicuna. Aliliangmi. Imainaliam Masicuna. Aliliancho. In this presentation, we'll learn a little bit about how to say hello and goodbye. Greetings in Quechua. Let's start with that. When we want to say hello in Quechua, there are two ways to do this. The first one uses idiomatic expressions, which means that we are going to have to learn a fixed chunk, a construction that doesn't change that much or that is used in a way that is not necessarily regular. And the other way of using this, which is the open way in which we can say hello, has uh, give us the possibility of adding other type of answers. So the the idiomatic one is aliliancho, whose answer always is aliliangmi. And walegliachu, which is always tied to walegliam. So what I'm saying here is something very simple. Aliliancho is a form that is based on the word, the word alien. So we can take a look, a look here that the basis is alien, which means good. But then you have to see how aliliancho is doing something extra. You're putting these two suffixes, these two forms, lia and chu, and you are breaking, you're breaking the stem, which originally should be alien. That irregularity is what makes this form an idiom. And in the same way, for the question aliliancho, which means, are you fine? Are you good? The answer to this is aliliangmi. And once again, you can see how lia and mi are breaking ali and en. So aliliangmi, the answer to aliliancho, means just fine. We'll talk about the contribution of the suffix mi later in this presentation. In contrast to what I just said, you can see how the Chanka variety, one of the uh, main varieties of the Southern Quechua language that we're learning, they don't do this idiomatic expression. They follow the regular pattern. So, alien, alien lia chu is the question, or the expression that means hello, alien lia chu, and the answer to that is alien liam. So you can you can see there that alien has been respected. You keep you add the new suffixes in the regular position without breaking the stem. Uh, so waleglyachu means pretty much are you fine? Comes from waleg, which means fine in Quechua. It's a word that comes from Spanish. It comes from the form valer. If you need to know to be worth, but it's already regularized in Quechua, particularly in Cusco and Bolivia. The second way of, of saying hello is the, the open one. And by open, I mean that you can add other type of information. You are not bound to replying something very fixed because of the irregular pattern that you have to respect. But in this case, when you say imainalia, which means, uh, means how are you doing or howdy, the possible answer to that could be alingliam, just fine, walegliam, just fine, just good, or kusiska, saikuska, any type of uh, state that you find yourself into. You could be happy, you could be sad, you could be tired, etc. So that opens the possibility to many answers. Remember, this is the opposite to what I just explained. Alingliachu only receives as a reply aliliangmi, and walegliachu only receives a reply such as walegliam. For the closing segment to say goodbye, you have many different options, and all of them tend to all of them end with the form kama, which means until. So you have forms like tupananchis kama which means until we run into each other. So see you, a, a much more colloquial way to say that in English. So see you later or uh, see you, you know, another time. Tupananchiskama, tinkunakama, 
until our until a future a future meeting, Tingui to meet, Tupa to run into each other, Pacarincama, used very commonly in Peru, both in Ayacucho and in Cusco and in Puno, Pacarincama, which means until the morning, hasta mañana in Spanish. Huk ratukama, an informal way of saying until other until any other time. Huk one or another, and ratu, which is a loan from Spanish, which means rato, another time, a short time. And finally, ayakama, which means until tomorrow. And this form aya, right here. is mainly used in Bolivia, but is a very traditional Quechua form. So it was lost in modern Peruvian varieties, but this form Kaya is very much tomorrow. While Pacarin, which is the most commonly used in Peru for Pacarincama, as I mentioned, Pacarincama, the form pacarin means morning. Well, so when somebody says to pananchiscama, you can say to pananchiscama too, or you can say to pananchiscama ya, which pretty much means until we meet again, of course, you are agreeing with what the other person said. And this is one of those cases in Quechua where you have to put the stress in the final syllable. Tupananchiskamaya. Tupananchiskama. Tupananchiskamaya. And so on. Then you can have Tinkunakama. And the answer is Tinkunakamaya. Pajarinkama. Until tomorrow, hasta mañana. Pajarinkamaya. Hukratukama. Hukratukamaya. I will explain that in a little bit. And Ayakama. Ayakamaya. So, regarding hook and hoch, both forms are synonyms, but this one is mainly used in Cusco, but also in Bolivia. Hook is used mainly for the chanca varieties. Hook means one, and hoch means another. So they are very close. In fact, they come from the same word. The word hook in Ayacucho, the Chanka variety, also means another. This is an interesting uh, feature of this language that the word one also means another. But in Cusco, they have specialized, they have specialized each meaning, keeping hook for one and ho for another. So if somebody says hukra tu kama, somebody from Ayacucho, some speaker of the Chanka variety, they may find, you know, that the other person, if they are from Cusco, are is, they, they are going to say hukra tu kama ya. Well, until another time, of course. So we can distinguish in Cusco between hook and hok, and ya means of course, and kama means until. And in this way, we have learned how to say hello and goodbye in Quechua. If you have any questions, please send me an email and we'll see each other next class. Tupananchis Gama, Tinkuna Kamaya.